the news. Uh, Saitama, uh, Saitama, the, uh, the the New Jersey of Tokyo, uh, is basically yeah. They they have this thing. It is there's an interesting point I also picked up on right away. Uh, pri a prize a, a prize of credit and praise for anyone in the the comments who can pick out first what the problem is with this photo. So yeah, the 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 in Saitama apparently the pastor in ordinance that. Um, uh, is going to ban people from walking or the actual problem is when people run uh, on escalators um, so for those of you who, who who don't know of course you know in a place like Saitama Saitama is a place where if you oversleep and you are at the train station you've probably got a one and a half hour commute to work so basically you know missing your tr people are probably more likely to be scrambling onto trains and rushing in you know like you're really in trouble if you're late and you're starting out in Saitama so I can imagine the problem. It is a thing where elderly people getting bowled over by people sort of running up and down escalators. And how can you up, run up and down escalators, you may ask. Well, in Japan, most escalators, uh, people stand uh, two, uh, two across. And um, basically what sort of happens, is, and the idea is, is that uh, at least in, in all the civilized parts of Japan, uh, it works the same as the road rules in Japan, which is that uh, the slow lane is on the... Uh, the left and the uh, fast lane is on the right um, the idea being that if you want to um, yeah if, if you just want to stand and enjoy the ride up you can just stand on the left hand side but if you want to move up and go in the passing lane you go on the right hand side the only exception to this is Osaka which is just insane and that's proof of it and as Aaron correctly picked out that's exactly what this photo indicates all the people are standing on the right hand side that's an Osaka move um, they are just crazy and probably Tokyo people are just like probably running into the back of them and screaming at them who, who knows maybe they do it just to just to, to stick one to Tokyo people but they're, they're the exception every pretty much everywhere else in Japan you stand on the left and you can walk and if you're late for work you may run and push on the the, the right and of course what happens is um, sometimes you'll just get people running up and down escalators and they'll knock people over on these escalators and cause injuries particularly to elderly and whatever it's dangerous and it's antisocial um, in various parts, I think uh, Kanagawa uh, actually tried to get people voluntarily. They just put a thing where there will be, they declared there will be no more walking. Both sides of the escalator will be for standing only. However, everyone is so used to the idea that you're not supposed to stand on the right and that it's okay to walk on the right that basically it didn't work. Uh, but apparently Saitama is going to do it with uh, actual penalties now. There are going to be fines for people who walk on the escalators. Um, so yeah, the question is who's going to be brave enough to stand it, it, even me I would feel super self-conscious standing on the right hand side of the escalator You just feel like you basically feel like a, a you know, being in a little tiny car in the fast lane of a highway with like trucks coming up behind you That's how it will feel it'll be a bit white knuckle in the beginning, but um, yeah, it's a safety thing And honestly if you want to run use the freaking stairs um, Better for you anyway, right? So uh, yeah, Saitama is going to attempt to uh, regulate kind of what's become very entrenched, except in Osaka, obviously, which is where this photo is clearly from. So why they picked out an Osaka photo for this, I guess it's all that they had on file, but yes.